Simple technologies have provided the impetus for human civilization to progress through the ages. These technologies have helped humankind harness bounties of nature without affecting its delicate balance. Though all productive sectors have assimilated modern technologies, traditional techniques are still in vogue, helping the marginalized make a living. Converting clam shells into quick lime and slaked lime is one such indigenous technology. Backwaters and rivers that span the length and breadth of Kerala are rich in a variety of aquatic life, including clams. Clams are bivalve mollusks. Besides being a rich source of food, they are a primary raw material in Kerala for the production of lime-based products. Nearly 65% of the annual clam collection belongs to the species Villorita seprinoids, commonly known as black clams. Another variety that is rich in protein and used for edible purposes is the white clam. Also serving as a raw material for producing quick lime and slaked lime, it belongs to the species Meritrix casta. Thousands of people living by these water bodies are gainfully employed in the collection and processing of clams. Live clams collected in the backwaters have to be first boiled in water to separate the meat from the shells. It is these meat-free shells that serve as the raw material for lime-based products. The major source for the production of quick lime and slaked lime are the deposits of sub-fossilized clams found in the Wainbanad Lake, adjoining the districts of Ernakulam, Alapura and Kotem. These sub-fossil deposits that form the bulk of the resources have accumulated here through the centuries as the dead remains of the once living population of clams. Subsoil deposits are also found on land adjacent to the backwaters and estuaries. Often, these deposits are excavated from a depth of over 15 feet. Due to bleaching over a long period of time, these shells lose their black color and appear dull white. These shells are processed in traditional well-shaped kilns known locally as nurtukurams. The kilns have an opening at the base to blow air. The channels that radiate from the opening smoothen air circulation throughout the kiln. Over the channels, iron rods and tile pieces are placed to prevent the shells from choking the channels. Over these, a layer of dried coconut shell and husk is placed. This serves as the primary fuel. Over this fuel base, a layer of clams is spread, followed by a layer of charcoal. And above it, alternate layers of clams and coconut husk are placed to fill the kiln. Once the filling is done, the kiln is fired. A hand-operated blower provides the oxygen needed for burning the fuel to generate heat.
the heat so generated triggers an endothermic reaction. In this endothermic reaction, calcium carbonate gets converted to carbon dioxide and to calcium oxide, which is known as quake lime. The processing of clam shells in the kilns varies depending upon the quality of quick lime required. When the end product of quick lime is intended for agricultural purposes, only charcoal is used as fuel. The quick lime thus produced has several uses. One major use is in the purification of well water. When water is added to quick lime, that is calcium oxide, an exothermic reaction occurs. This reaction yields calcium hydroxide, commonly known as slaked lime. Slaked lime is used for a variety of purposes. One common application is the whitewashing of buildings. The alkaline nature of the slaked lime helps neutralize the acidity of soil. Therefore, it is used in plantations and other cultivable lands to maintain the desirable pH value of the soil. To overcome the extreme acidity of paddy fields, farmers since generations have been using slaked lime. Farmers usually take the cue from the iron sulphide scum on the surface of the water, an indication of high acidity, and apply slaked lime. A time-tested soil management practice indeed. Slaked lime is also used as a purifying agent for preparing certain Ayurvedic medicines. For instance, slaked lime is used to free the herb Plumbago indica, commonly known as Chetti Koduveli, of its acidic content. With the passage of time and the development of modern technology, clams have found industrial applications too. For industrial purposes, clams are excavated from backwaters using heavy dredgers. The shells are sucked and discharged into a screening plant using a centrifugal pump. Then, the shells are passed through a revolving screen that separates the shells from the slush. The cleaned clams are collected in large barges to be carried to the production units. At the Travancore Cement Limited at Kote, clam shells are used in the manufacture of white cement. Here, first the shells are ground with sand in the ball mill. White clay is another ingredient in making white cement. For this purpose, clay is made into a slurry and is transferred into a raw mill where the shells, sand and clay are finely ground and transferred to the rotary kiln. In the kiln, this mixture is heated at about 1,500 degrees Celsius to produce clinker. To the clinker, gypsum is added and these are then ground together to yield white cement for which there is a steady demand in the domestic market.
Another industry where clamshells are used is that of the newspaper industry. At the Hindustan Newsprint Limited at Bellur in Kotem district, Limeshell is a raw material used in the making of sodium hydroxide, an essential ingredient in digesting wood and bamboo to produce pulp. For this, the shells are cleaned and fed through conveyor belts to the rotary kiln. Here, it is heated to about 830 degrees Celsius to produce calcium oxide or quick lime. The calcium oxide is transferred to the causticizing plant where it is mixed with sodium carbonate to obtain sodium hydroxide and calcium carbonate. The sodium hydroxide thus produced is used for making paper pulp. The calcium carbonate thus recovered in the process is refed into the kiln to obtain calcium oxide. This kind of recovery and recycling of calcium carbonate helps conserve clamshell resources. The integration of modern technology with traditional know-how. This forms the bedrock of Kerala's successful clamshell industry today. <laughs>